everybody, this is Luke Gordon at Gordon Physical Therapy, and today I am in the yoga studio, and we're shooting our first ever yoga video. So in just a minute, I'm going to introduce our yoga instructor, Sandy Nolting, a uh, physical therapist here with Gordon Physical Therapy, and she does, a, she does all of our yoga classes currently, and what we wanted to do is put together some instructional videos for people to do some of the yoga practices at home. So um, we're kind of intending these for two different audiences. The first audience is all the people that are already doing yoga with us. In case you want to do some of this stuff at home, you'll have a guided way to, to do some of the yoga um, exercises and activities. And then also, if you're on the fence about yoga or you're just interested in doing it at home for now, we're going to try to make it easy to follow and explain different ways to do yoga. So like I said, this is the first yoga video, and Sandy is going to cover um, what she calls breath awareness. And this is how all of her yoga students are starting each class. So whether you're in the most basic level yoga, which at Gordon PT we have uh, what we call welcome to yoga for our brand new beginners, and then they transition into a really basic class called breath foundations. So whether you're in that class, which doesn't require a whole lot of mobility or anything like that, or you're in one of the higher level classes, uh, which for us we go up to gentle yoga after that, and then we go to level one yoga. So regardless of any of those levels of uh, difficulty, this is how Sandy's gonna start each yoga session, again, with a focus on the breath. So this is probably be probably a 15, 20 minute video. Um, and then uh, leading into the next video, which will be more about the actual movements and things like that. So I'm gonna let Sandy take over here in just a moment, and she's gonna start with seated uh, breath awareness, and then she's also going to show you uh, breath awareness from laying down. So depending on which level you're at or which one you're comfortable trying, she'll show you both ways. And I will let her take it from here. Here comes Sandy. Thanks, Luke. Hi, I'm Sandy. So with breath awareness, it's a foundation for all yoga practice. And it's just a, a good, uh, easy way to help you manage your health. I'm going to give you some introduction about your uh, preparation for that. One is you want to make sure that the nasal passages are clear. So if you want to lightly blow your nose so that uh, you feel a little bit more clear and ready to breathe, that will be good because yoga is a practice of breathing in and out through the nostrils. Uh, some other suggestions I might make, and this of course is based with your healthcare provider and you know what's right for you, but uh, using a nasal rinse or a neti pot is not a bad uh, practice, during, especially during cold season. Another option, I like to use essential oils if that's your comfort level and you have them around the house. You could take a drop of uh, lavender or eucalyptus. Uh, I like to use a blend um, that's called Breathe appropriately from doTERRA essential oils. And if you put the oil in your hand, make sure your hands are clean before you bring them up to your face, of course. And then you warm it in your hands and then bring it in front and then just cup so that you can take a breath in. It really helps to open things up. So again, it's a nice preparation for a breath awareness practice. I like to have people do it seated in my classes, making sure that you have an upright posture. So in the uh, folding chair, you wanna make sure that your hips are level with your knees, that you're able to sit upright, not slouched, that you're on the sitting bone, so the pelvis is level and the feet are grounded. You'll see I have my feet on a blanket because my feet do not reach the floor. So that is always an option. For those that are more comfortable in lying down or that they have such a busy mind that they need to be a little bit more grounded, let me show you what it would look like if you're lying down. I'm just gonna move that chair out of the way. So simply on your floor, and you can do that right now, lying down, and if you need something for under your head, if your head tips back, I wanna make sure that you're supported. Don't have too much height, it should be relatively level. I always suggest that people bend the knees and step the feet wide so the feet, knees rock in and then they can be supported. Your legs can also be up on top of a couch or a chair, so you would look like in a tipped over chair with it. You can also lie on your side if that's easier for your back. I'm gonna go back to the chair so that I can guide you through that. So make your selection right now. If you're more comfortable seated or lying down, and you won't need to see the screen at this point. You'll be closing your eyes so that you can hear my words. 
Uh, before we do that, again, the breath should happen down in the abdominal region. We call it a diaphragm breath. So when you have your hand here, uh, you should feel the rise of the belly. When you breathe in through the nose and you should feel the belly draw in the sideways draw in. So we wanna feel the breath down here, even though the lungs are in the upper chest. It's just an important element of this practice. I also want to remind those of you who've been in my class and those that are new to yoga that the breath is a, a tool that helps you balance your nervous system. So any feelings of stress or anxiety can be calmed with the breath awareness practice. Uh, if you have chronic pain, pain issues, it's another way to uh, bring some sense of ease with that. It's supportive for the digestive system and your immune system. So it's a good one to get introduced to and to practice regularly. So we'll begin. From your seated or lying down position, you're gonna have your hands either beside you if you're lying down or supported on your lap. I'm gonna ask that you bring your chin down a little bit towards the chest and that you, if you're not comfortable closing your eyes, that you just direct your gaze down in front of you with a very soft gaze or closing your eyes. I'll be closing my eyes. So we start the process understanding that first that we are in a supported position. We can let go of the muscular effort right now. You'll draw your attention to that inhalation. As it enters the nasal passages, it has a temperature to it. You'll feel the coolness of that breath. As you exhale, again, noticing the temperature, the breath feels neutral or maybe slightly warm as it leaves the nasal passages. With each inhalation, follow the path of that breath, the movement associated with it. As you take the breath in, you'll notice that there is movement in the abdominal region and the breath rises up towards the collarbones. And from the fullness of each inhalation, you'll release. And with the exhale, you soften from the collarbones, the upper chest, and then a sense of emptiness, stillness in the abdominal region at the end of the breath before the next inhale begins. So I'll continue to guide you with this breath, bringing your attention to the qualities, the sensation of your breath, and the path of the breath. Again, as you take the inhale into the body, it's like pouring water into a container it fills from the bottom. So noticing the rise of the belly, expansion through the sideways, the rib cage, and the sense of fullness with each breath in. With each breath out, it's like pouring water out of that container. It empties from the top. So the rib cage begins to soften and draw inward, the belly sideways draw inward, and that sense of emptiness, pause and stillness. Notice those transitions with each breath, from the fullness of the breath when your exhale begins, and from the emptiness of the breath when your next inhale begins. If in the cycle of the breath, your mind wanders, whether it be sounds inside your room or outside of your home that you're watching from, or it can be just the chatter within your own mind, thoughts, awarenesses, if you become distracted by those, 
just notice that and in the noticing come back to this following this attention and observation of your breath your breath will find its rhythm there's no need to force it just give it time to move through the cycle. You can imagine that your breath is scanning the interior body. It's a way to help cleanse the interior, to help balance the function of all of the systems. giving permission for your exhalation to lengthen. Stay for just a moment, a count or two in that pause at the end of the breath. And let's sit quietly for just a moment more about Four breath cycles, you'll hear me signal with a chime. Time in yoga is simply to help you to recognize this moment now. You can keep your eyes closed and just taking in that information of what you feel like presently. State of mind within your body and your awareness now of your breath. We close this segment of breath awareness. I generally invite people to bring palms together at their heart. Again, honoring yourself and your inner wisdom from this time that you spent, this little gift to yourself of slowing down, being present, letting the breath synchronize and balance the systems. You can open your eyes Bring your hands back to your uh, thighs. Gently open your eyes if they have not opened yet. And when we open our eyes at the end of a practice, it's, again, it's acknowledgement. We've taken some time. Maybe we've sensed a quieting of the heart rate, quieting of the thought patterns, just a little bit more at ease in ourselves. That's what we take into our practice. If you'd like to continue with me, as Luke said, there is a movement part to yoga, and I begin gently, and this is called a joint freeing series. If you feel the breath awareness practice is enough, then thank you for joining me for that part. The joint freeing series I do in the chair. There is an option of lying down, and we'll do that in another video uh, along with some other gentle movements.